Come on, this way. Good girl. What's going on? It's Next Gen Mastiff. We're back again with another video. Now, this is going to be a quick video. I just want to do this video uh, in a response to a comment on one of my other videos. The comment is. Um, I just want to read the comment. Picking up my three month old presser on Tuesday, and this video got me a little shook, not going to lie. He's a big boy already, and I'm worried he is going to take over. Have I got any training tips? Um, first of all, congratulations on picking up your Presser Canario Pop and thanks for watching the video. The main aim of the video wasn't to get anybody shook or scared or anything, it was just to outline the differences between the two breeds, but I appreciate your honesty. I just want to say my response to that is if you're going to be picking up a Presser Canario and you're feeling a little shook based on the video that's already the wrong attitude to have when dealing with this breed this is a breed that you can't be scared at all you have to be the dominant, you have to be the alpha you're picking it up as a three month old male so you should be good as the dog will still be young and have plenty of time to learn and adjust to you what you want to do is just keep on top of the training. My advice for you is to be confident with the dog and um, lay down the foundations from early. Come here, good girl. When I say lay down the foundations, the most important thing I would say is to get your basic obedience training done. That's the foundation, so that's your basic command, sit, stay, down, off, leave it. These are the main things that you want to teach your dog from early. If you teach your dog these from early, then that's the foundation. If your dog hasn't got these, then it's going to be a problem when your dog grows older. These, the Presser Canario is not a breed for everybody. It's not for the faint hearted. If you do not get the foundations right with this dog, when this dog grows to about six or seven months, he's going to be the boss of you you know um, he's going to be doing things you need to these are not small dogs so you can't let these dogs get away with certain things that you're going to let a smaller breed get away with otherwise it's going to be a disaster and you're going to end up rehoming the dog after six months or seven months later down the line when you realize this dog's too big and too difficult to control now i'm not here to scare you away or anything it's not a dig at you or anything i just I would, i'm very interested to know why a presser canario these dogs are bred to guard and protect sometimes they're used to hunt as well these are serious dogs but you need to be the dominant leader and alpha when you're dealing with your dog make sure that dog knows that you are the leader it will make it a lot easier for you I and mean, you won't have to be in a situation where you're going to have to possibly rehome the dog or anything like that. And that's my advice. Appreciate your honesty. I had a Presser Canario one time. It was a mix. I took it off a lady who couldn't control him. And he was only a year old, but he was huge. He was bigger than Khalifa. He was bigger than Khalees. He was bigger than both of them. He was just over a year old. And the girl, she couldn't look after him no more. So I took... I took him and I could tell straight away that he wasn't raised correctly and when I mean he wasn't raised correctly he was a massive dog and um, he had no house training whatsoever he didn't know his size he didn't know his strength so indoors he was just a nightmare he would run around jump on everything come here jump all over things bully his way through the house he had no respect and for a big dog, it was a nightmare. I couldn't keep him because he was just too much. Um, if I had, if it was just him only, I would have kept him and worked with him. But because I had Khalees and Khalifa at the time as well, it was just too much. Um, this is the type of problems that you want to avoid when you're dealing with these breeds. People are quite naive when it comes to dogs. That was just one type of issue that I experienced. This dog was a nightmare. He had food aggression, resource aggression, you name it. It was just crazy, you know. Um, I couldn't keep him. 
I could keep him if I just had him only and I had time to work with him but because I had these two it was just it was too much so yeah these are the type of issues that you want to avoid I know people are gonna say oh my press is fine blah 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 I never had no problems but I mean some are fine yeah but it all depends on the bloodlines it's just like people saying Oh, my pit bull wouldn't hurt a fly type of stuff. And a lot of the times they don't have pit bulls. They've got mixed breeds and they've been sold it under the impression that it's a pit bull. They've got a mixed breed with something else. Same thing like the presser. A lot of people may say, oh, um, oh, my presser's cool or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But when you're dealing with a proper, solid bloodline presser canario, ask anybody and they're going to tell you similar things. Yeah, I'm not talking about presser mixes. A presser mix, you're still not getting the full presser canario temperament. Yeah. Look, this is what I'm talking about. She's seen somebody like that. She's already. She's just temperamental. This is, a press, this is what presser canarios are about. You know? And it's up to me how far I want to let her push the boundaries. I know when to correct her, you know, and when to let her be herself, but the problem is in the wrong hands and you don't know how to correct these dogs then it's going to be a problem because they will just do what the hell they want to do. If they don't like something, they're going to make it known that they don't like something, you know, they're not going to hold back and hesitate and wait for you. Come this way. This way. Look, look. See that? How many times have I said this way? But she, once, once something's on her mind, it's hard to get her off. Say it again. Come on, this way. Look, she's got something on her mind. She wants to go. She's good girl. Good girl. They have a they have a level of stubbornness um, to them. You might have to tie them three or four times, and then they'll eventually come. I've had few presser males and females, and they all do the same trait. They might not. They're not going to listen to you the first time all the time. You might have to tell them two, three, four times. Because once they're locked onto something, come this way, good girl. The more dominant you are as a person, as a person, the more likely they're gonna respond. If you're there telling her to come, like, come on, come on, no, she ignore you all day long. But yeah, I hope that kind of helped. Um, like I say, just lay down the foundations. Get your basic obedience training done with her, with him as soon as possible. Um, you lay out the boundaries. And then you'll have a loving, protective, loyal dog. Let's go.